All right, hello internet, it is I, Rick, also known as Shroom, S Shroom, the real S Shroom on Twitch. And I'm gonna be playing some Explorer in uh, MTG Arena tonight. Um, so last time that I streamed uh, Arena, I was playing some Standard and, you know, having not such a fun time about it. I got to thinking like, when was the last time I actually had fun playing Standard? And I think it was like the last, most recent uh, Ravnica block with like uh, Ravnica Allegiance, the, you know, that that set, those two sets that uh, were all focused around like multicolored cards and the guilds and stuff. That was a really fun standard format. I think like right after the printing of Rag Ravnica Allegiance, maybe even before War of the Spark, that was like where uh, standard kind of peaked in my opinion. So of course I have all these brews that I, that I played during that format that uh, are Explorer legal. So uh, I just did a bit of tweaking with some of them, and um, I'm going to run through some matches with some of these uh, cool revamped uh, Ravnica era decks tonight. So the first one, I got to ask you, first of all, you ever played these? These were the very first video games that were ever released for Magic the Gathering. Uh, sometime in like, I don't even know when, like 1996 or 97? Uh, and anyway, uh, I had a lot of fun playing these games. They were very primitive games with like uh, poor rules implementation and basically brain dead or non-existent computer AI. And uh, like you could do busted things like put four black lotuses in your deck, like four uh, of each mox, lightning bolts, etc., et uh, mind twist, all this really busted stuff before any of that stuff was like restricted or banned. So I built this deck in that format that was like mind twist and like hypnotic specters lightning bolts strip mines stone rains uh what else was that like disrupting scepter so it was this deck that was like all about just like destroying every resource my opponent has it's like discard land destruction burn and like uh creature removal so uh Every time that I, I had so much fun playing that deck, and that was like one of the first decks I ever sort of experimented with and brewed, that every time I play in a different format, I try to implement some version of that deck. I haven't done it yet in Explorer, so I'm going to do it tonight. And um, I come to it, I know it these days as like a hate rack deck, because in modern it uses rack effects, so those don't, those don't really exist too much in um, Explorer right now, although there is a little bit of that, as we'll see. So first we got to make our opponent discard cards. We got Thoughtseize. We've got uh, Davriel, Lily of the Veil, four mana Lily, uh, also disc makes people discard. We've got a one of Carnival Carnage. So it's a really bad removal spell for one mana instant speed. And it's also a Blightning that costs an extra mana. So I run Blightning in my, uh, in my Rakdos, uh, you know, actual hate rack deck in modern. This is the closest thing we're going to get to it. It's a bad card, don't get me wrong. But uh, I'm definitely running a copy because it fits so well with the theme of the deck. So the, uh, we also also have an Angrath Flame Chain, which is good for the deck. You know, it's plus one, makes our opponent only discard, which is kind of a rare ability on a Planeswalker to just just have your opponent discard and have it not be symmetrical. Also does damage to them, which is exactly what we're looking to do. We're looking to make them discard cards and uh, and lose life as well. So then we have the LD part of the deck which has four cleansing wildfires, which um, it's two mana, which is good. And it replaces itself, which is also very good. Uh, the problem is that it does like allow our opponent to tutor up a basic land to replace the one that we destroy. But a lot of decks in Explorer don't play that many basic lands, I suspect. And if nothing else, even the fact that we're, you know, doing these four cleansing wildfires is going to take away their, it's going to deplete their stock of lands for our actual hard LD spells, which are four rubble reading, destroy target land, scry two, and three demolish, destroy target land or artifact. So we've got a total of, um, what's that? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11 spells that can blow up lands as well as four memorial to war yes an entire playset of memorial to war this red tap land that for five you can sack it to destroy target land so we're going to make them discard their cards we're going to make them we're going to blow up their lands the next phase is burning them in the face which sadly is a little lacking uh, in this deck i have to admit um we have a little bit of burn in um well we've got our chandras which can burn people they're like kind of our win con too um we've got our oh i, I forgot to mention bedeck bedazzle 
Bedeck is another like kind of bad removal spell, although it's not as bad as Carnival because it does give minus three toughness, which can kill a lot of stuff. Actually, it can kill like just about anything in the Rakdos deck aside from Shieldred. And for six mana, instant speed, destroy target non-basic land. Bedazzle does two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. So it's no molten rain. But it is an instant speed way to destroy a land which does damage. And that's what we're trying to do in this deck. Um, other burn effects we have are a one of light up the night. Which I really wish there were more burn uh, in the deck. But there there just isn't room for it with all the other stuff we've got. Um, line of the night, light up the night is a spell that we can flash back sometimes. Because we are running a lot of planeswalkers in our deck. Um, and then we've also got a one of, I don't know why it likes to put this like way over here uh, in this view, but it, it does. We've also got a one of Torment of Hailfire as another finisher, just a big, huge X spell that destroys our opponent's stuff, punishes them for not having cards in hand or permanents on the board. And then we got the, our kill spells. We got two of Fatal Push. We got a Sh Shadow Scroll Smashing, two of be devil which can kill planeswalkers obviously that's a good thing to be able to do in this format our lilies can kill creatures Angrath can kill creatures chandra can kind of kill creatures this chandra can definitely kill creatures and we've got a two of meat hook massacre so that's the basic game plan we're going to make our opponents discard we're going to kill all their stuff we're going to blow up their lands so you may have noticed these ld spells all cost four mana four is an awful lot of mana for a land destruction spell. And wizards just won't print man land destruction spells at three mana anymore, it seems. So, like, the deck is pure jank. Like, don't get me wrong. I know this deck is janky. Uh, this is probably the less janky version of this uh, Ponza concept that I'm going to be playing tonight. Um, four mana is just way too expensive for this effect to, to like, tap out to only destroy land. Um, particularly if I'm on the draw, this is probably going to be way, way too slow. But we'll see. There might be some matchups where this is really effective. And um, the combination of Cleansing Wildfire and these true LD effects will just shut our opponent out of the game. And we'll play like a, a prison style deck. So the sideboard has a couple of duresses to go with the Thought Seasons against decks where it's good. A couple of Feed the Swarms for enchantments. A couple of Angrath's Rampage. I like this card. Uh, for a sack effect for artifacts, creatures, or planeswalkers, necromancia to hate out combos or anything where there's a critical card we need to get rid of, path of peril for weenies, extinction event, uh, just another sweeper that can exile, Chandra awakened inferno number two goes in against control because it's not counterable, a couple of Airbus's invention for graveyards and aggro matchups, as well as the third meat hook massacre. So this deck is janky. I have no uh, illusions about it. But um, it's probably less janky than the other version we're going to play tonight, and it should be fun. I'm sitting in, like, lower gold tier of uh, Explorer right now, so the, most people aren't playing, like, the tier tier decks. So for the time being, we can get away with uh, playing a little bit of jank, of true jank, and uh, not hurt ourselves too much, and maybe win some games. So that's going to do it. Let's get on with the gameplay. If you enjoy this kind of content, weird, janky MTG decks, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below on YouTube. Thanks. All right, we're against Stinky Genius. And we're on the draw. This hand looks fine. We've got removal. We've got LD. Rubble, rousing, uh, Rubble Reading is definitely our best LD spell because the scry can be uh, quite helpful sometimes. Looks like we're against Mono Red. That's not good. Phoenix Chick. That's a good card. Alright, I think I'll go ahead and push the Soul Scar Mage. They Rimrock Knight, their Phoenix Chick. Alright, more LD, sweet. This is a matchup where these four mana land destruction spells are not at their best. Although, are they just going to go Rimrock Knight? 
Oh. Okay. Okay, they do have a land drop for the turn. So I think I just X equals 1 the Meat Hook Massacre. And when does the Phoenix Chick come back? Next turn I can start blowing up lands. They got some good targets. Kumano. Memorial to War. Uh, do I just kill the Soul Scar Mage? I can wait, I guess, to see if they cast another creature. That will get a token. They do not. Alright, so I'll just kill Soulscar. So they're gonna lightning strike, I'm guessing, to use their mana. No. They have a, a an X or something? Bone Crusher Giant. Okay. Well, time to start blowing up lands. We don't need those lands. Of course, they can just kill us with what they have on the board already. Five, six, seven. So I need like another massacre or something. Devil. Uh, I don't think I'll shock that blood crypt. Bone Crusher Giant. Well, we gotta kill this one. Take two. Up to five, down to three. So we're within lightning strike range. Or skewer. Okay. Yeah, on the draw against mono red, not where we wanna be with this deck. Erebos' intervention comes in. Meat hook number three comes in. Path of Peril comes in. We can lose Big Chandra. All of our expensive stuff really can come out. Actually, I kind of like Angrath against them. Carnival Carnage, not so good. Okay, I've got to make a rule to like try to avoid as much as possible cutting the LD. Because what's the point in playing the deck if we're not if we're going to cut the LD? We can cut Thoughtseize. Does Carnival Carnage even kill anything? I guess it kills Phoenix Chick. It kills like Seder tokens. Extinction Event is probably better. Keeping in our four mana LD spells. All right, this is a hand. Uh, this is probably not a keepable hand. Yeah, I don't think it's really keepable, sadly. Although I do have a massacre, I also have a redraw. But I've got double, double LD four mana. 
but like that's what my deck does right uh, i gotta i gotta get some more interaction all right well we'll keep this one and bottom probably torments All right, I need to start drawing action and not just lands. Oh, that's Dragon Soul Scummit. I thought I thought it was a uh, haunted ridge. All right, so I need to draw removal. Path of Peril would be nice. Roiling Vortex. Another Kumano. Davriel, just what we needed. Uh, okay. Well, maybe we can get him to soak up an attack for us. Probably not. Chick. All come in for me. So I think I'm dead. Let's see. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, cause let's see. I can take that. I can meat hook for two. It'll kill these two. I'll gain two life. But then they have one, two, three, four, five, six attacking me next turn. So yeah. Mono Red, not our best matchup. We're looking for something mid-range to control -y. Okay, we're on the play against Chicken Man. Alright, that looks like a reasonable hand of cards. Go ahead and shock Thoughtseize. Okay, this is more like it. Just Esper Control, Deputy of Detention, Kaido. They only have two lands currently, so... Drawn the Lock is annoying. I think I'd take Kaido, though. Tainted Indulgence was also an option. Looks like they're going for Tainted Indulgence. Alright, so I can start the LD next turn.
Alright, this will come into play untapped. Let's blow up... What? Watery Grave? Scry 2? Ooh, keep the LD coming. Yeah. See, this is this is what we want to do. We want to chain LD spells one after the other. Ganjo. And let's blow up your blue source. Play this on black, and let's blow up your black source. They keep drawing lands, but check it out. Blow up your triome. Do two damage to you. Another triome. Not bad. Alright, let's X equals four a torment of hail fire? Sure, why not? Sensor would be annoying. I didn't play around it. Discard a Rafine, Deputy of Detention, and take six. There's Rafine. Ha <laughs> ha Uh, we probably just kill Rafine, right? Or do we blow up their land? I think we gotta kill Rafine. Chandra TOD. Oh, they can counter it, though. That was dumb. I should have just gone for the LD. I wasn't paying attention. They had Drown in the lock. Bot sees Swamp. I think I really need either of those right now. More LD or some action, please. And I keep drawing lands. One thing about this deck, it has like zero card draw. Oh, Kaido Shizuki. I forgot that I have this memorial to war. The Celestis, that's an interesting draw. Let's go ahead and just blow up your land. Void Rend on the Celestis, okay.
I can just meat hook those guys. Give me some action, please. More lands. One, two, three. Let's just go three. Whoops. Another memorial to war, sweet. Let's read some rubble. Shatter skull smashing. No, we want action. We don't want more lands. Hero of Precinct 1. We'll just kill that. Tyrant scorn to bounce it. All right, let's blow up your black source. Can I get like big Chandra? No, Memorial to War, okay. Deputy of Detention. Big Chandra? No. All right, let's just kick you off white. <laughs> Cleansing wildfire. Kind of don't even want to cast that because it'll give them another colored source. So I think I'll save it. I need some way to deal with these creatures, though. Oh, actually, I'm dead. That was sad. Okay. So we want a couple more sweepers. Probably a couple duresses. I think we want this big Chandra, because they're a control deck. Cut light up the nights, cut. Croxa, I like Croxa. Cut Carnival. That was very dumb. Uh, I should have played, I think I could have resolved Chandra TOD there if I had to rub, like, cast rubble, rubble Reading when they had that Drown in the Lock up instead of Chandra. And having her on the battlefield would have made all the difference. Um, what else? Cut. Probably this Lily, because they have a lot of stuff they can sack. Davriel's good. I'll cut Torment. And one more cut. Uh, I don't know. Cleansing Wildfire I want to use to hit their multicolored lands. 
can actually cut a land, Field of Ruin. I think there's 26 lands, plus Celestis. Alright, looks good. Double Thought Seas. Hero, Hero, Kambal. I think I just take Kambal. All right, let's blow up their multicolored land. Another meat hook, I like. They don't play a hero, okay. Let's thought he's again. They veto. Alright, let's Croxa. They discard a hero. Big Mama Chandra, I like. So that's X equals 2, this meat hook. They shock. Okay, let's thought seize. Just two lands. Can't quite escape Proxa. Doing some scrying. Double top. Kaya. Ugh, not enough mana for Big Mama Chandra. Rafine. Gabrielle. I can only X equals three meat hook. That's not good. I don't think you'll be needing sorry. <laughs> Deputy of detention. So you hit Davriel, okay. So, can they kill me with Kaya? It deals damage to target player equal to the number of cards that player owns in exile, and you gain that much life. Okay, so they can five me. Let's kill this Rafine. Spell or ability an opponent controls. Uh, I could have just gone for it. No, it's five toughness now. 
could just trade for Kaya. That's kind of sad. I'll start plussing. Ah, Rafine is so busted. You want to fight? You got it. Honey, that's what I do. Okay. I go down to eleven, and X equals five. Kaya can hit me for six. I guess that's what I do. And if they have a counter spell, I'm dead. start racking you and starts adding emblems whatever they're called another Rafine X equals four. The Rafine. I think I just need to do that, right? So they're taking four damage. Deals damage to target player equal to the number of cards that player owns in exile, and you gain that much life. Okay, so they can do that for five as of right now. Would you put me at eight? Do I draw a card? Let's draw a card. Duress. <laughs> Double duress. Not what I'm looking for. I could play another Chandra and just start stacking the emblems. I think that's a good idea. So they're taking f six damage on their upkeep. <laughs> Rubble reading. One, two, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is up to now. Eight, nine. All right, let's rubble read their castle. Ooh, there is that. I should have killed him first. That was dumb. Bedevil Liliana. We want Liliana. Actually, we want both of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang it. I think I screwed myself. I need to kill him before casting that spell. Um. So, yeah. That was a poor play. Oh, I gained a life from Extinction Event. Or, uh, Meat Hook Massacre. Oh, I should have got Liliana on top. Because that would have been three damage right away. No, that wouldn't have been enough. Killing Kaya is good. Fracture on... Davriel. Okay. Alright, let's kill Kaya. Continue making emblems. Okay, we got him. Uh, I think I could have. I think I could have done that a little better than I did, but it worked out. Uh, I think we just run it back. like this duress double cleansing wildfire I think I want to just cl cleansing wildfire first They discarded Drown in the Lock. Unmoored Ego, <laughs> naming Chandra. They brought in Unmoored Ego. That's hilarious. Chandra Awakened Inferno. Okay. Good choice. They see our handful of LD. Alright, so let's duress. Let's take Kaido Shizuki. Let's 
remove your dual land. Alright, so you gotta play your Dovin's Veto here. Now the Drown in the Lock can hit my Rubble Reading. Uh, I think I'll play the Celestis. Can hit that too. They choose to let that go. Okay, they fracture. Oh, can hit an artifact. Okay. They discard drown in the lock. Probably means they have another one in hand. All right, let's go for demolish. Scepter is a good card. I don't have this revolted. <clears throat> that is lifelink. Alright, let's try that demolish again. Another interceptor, jeez. Alright, I need like a uh, meat hook massacre. Fatal push. I'm not gonna do it here. Well, I guess I gotta try to kill one of those interceptors. Dovin's veto. Okay. All right. I need to draw sweeper. I need meat hook massacre. Nope. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Alright, so we came close to beating Tier Esper. That's not bad. This is a one lander with just a field of ruin, so that's a mulligan. <laughs> what a hand. Triple thought sees double demolish. I'll keep this six. What do I bought up? I mean, I know I can cast the Thought Seize. I have no idea about the Demolish. The logical place seems to be to keep the Thought Seize, but I'm keeping my Demolish. I think that's the correct play for the deck. Portable hole, anticipate, negate. So it's just blue white control. Which should actually be a good matchup for us. Shatter the sky.
They missed their land drop. That's good. All right, let's go for Demolish. Okay, let's let's draw some Rubble Reading. That would be the best draw. Or lands to, to start proccing my Memorial to War. My deck has like zero card advantage whatsoever. Oh, it has Castle Locked Mean, I guess. No, they have Spell Pierce. Okay. Boo. Our opponent is Abstract Prophet, by the way. Cycling a Shark Typhoon. To make their land drop. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's activate our Memorial to War. Blow up your dual land. Start ticking up Lily. Actually, I think I like Fatal Push more than Meat Hook Massacre. Neither of them are good. Okay, for the Frost Dragon. Torment of Hailfire. What the heck? We know we can get it off, so might as well. They just take nine points. Come on, give me give me carnival carnage. They tap out to activate their cave. Let's blow up... They only have two blue sources, so let's blow up their dual land. Cleansing Wildfire Den. Cleansing Wildfire draws me the den. I guess that's fine. Den is a good good card to have in this situation. Foam into the sea. They get to preordain. I can start attacking with Den. Another memorial to war? I'll take it. Sacking to scry. Bottom, bottom.
they foretell something. Portable hole on my token. They're at seven. The devil, that's fine. Hit him for four. We could have Doomscar foretold. Gonna activate cave. Cool. Fatal push it. GG's. Okay. We actually managed to disrupt them with our with our LD that game. That was sweet. That's the plan. So we want Duress. We want Big Chandra, probably Angrath's Rampage for the walkers. We don't need meat hooks. Uh, I just hate this view, sorry. We don't need meat hooks. That's all good, that's all good. The LD we just don't board out. We've determined. Carnival Carnage? We're not boarding that out. Maybe we don't need Fatal Push. It kills Shark Tokens. I'll keep one in. Maybe cut light up the night and I like all this stuff. Little Chandra, big Chandra's staying in for sure. Maybe Little Lily? Nah. Uh, we can't cut- we can't cut our LD. Uh... Alright, I'll go down the Fatal Push. My walkers should be able to help, uh, help out with any sharks. Turn one thought sees cleansing wildfire. I like it. Do you need to draw some action? <laughs> Rubble reading. Gimme. Anticipate supreme will. Um take supreme will since it can counter my LD all right let's shock blow up your hall Anticipate. See, one thing my deck is going to do is make them use their card draw to find lands. Which is good. It's better than them using it for, like, planeswalkers. They're going to use their anticipate to, like, find, make their land drops.
Parties. Anticipate, okay. I'll take Shark Typhoon all day. Supreme Verdict, not doing much. I can't believe they still have that in their deck. So, they probably don't have a counter for this. Rubble reading. Read me to some more LD, please. Memorial to War. Uh, I'm looking for, like, LD, LD. Do I take another Memorial to War? I think I can take another Memorial to War. In the interim. I can draw with Castle Lockwing. It is uncounterable. Okay, no to fairies is good. Cleansing wildfire, I like. More memorial to wars, I like. Start blowing up your lands. I got a, another memorial to war in hand. Okay. Let's memorial to war. Blow up your blue sources. <laughs> Another memorial to war. Dress you. Negate Approach. Oh, you're an Approach deck. Well, that Second Sun is a ways off, I'm afraid. I guess I'll take Banishing Light, because that can kill my walkers. I got their next two islands covered. Cave of the Frost Dragon. Celestis. I think I'll blow up the cave. Castle Embrith. Uh, Castle Ardenbale. That takes five. I, you know, I don't really care too much about that. I do have a Shatter Skull Smashing in my hand. Did I make my land drop this turn? I did. Let's activate the Celestis. Activate only as a sorcery, okay. Um, let's draw a card. Roxa, I like. I'll discard. Probably Shatter Skull Smashing. <laughs> they scoop. <laughs> yes! Yes! Um, we'll end this deck on that note, and let's take a look at the second deck which is uh, another flavor of Ponza. This one's a bit kind of more all-in on the LD. 
So this is a Grixis LD deck. And we're trying to, as mentioned in the first deck tech, you know, these destroy land effects, they all cost four mana. So we're trying to get these down on turn three by using red ramp, which is Wily Goblin. It's a two mana one one that gives you a treasure token when it ETBs. And also Goblin Electromancer, this two mana two two that makes instant sorceries cost one less to cast. So we're going for trying to get our, our LD effects on turn three. And we've got 11 of the four mana variety in our deck here, uh, as well as the four cleansing wildfires. Um, and then for Wincon, well, another thing that's interesting about uh, Grixis is uh, like Unmoored Ego. You'll notice this is in the main board. Choose a card name. It doesn't say a non-land card name. So you can Unmoored Ego and choose like Island. And it will remove four copies of Island from your opponent's library, which means that all of your land destruction effects will be more effective. Like Cleansing Wildfire, they won't have Islands to replace their blue source with if you blow up like a, a blue dual land. Siphon Insight is also another way that we can strip lands out of our opponent's decks. We can choose any two cards that we, any of the two cards that we get off of the Siphon Insight. And we can just choose the land if we want to permanently remove that land from their deck. Or just put the, a land on the bottom of their library by uh, choosing the other card. So in a weird way, these cards both help out with the plan of LD. And then for win cons, um, we're Grixis, so I'm going uh, some Nikki B's. The Big Planeswalker, the Ravager, which can transform into the Big Planeswalker. Um... Other than that, we've got some removal. We've got a couple of murderous riders, a couple of crippling fears. Uh, I can name goblin, so it won't kill any of my electromancers or wily goblins, but will hopefully kill my opponent's stuff. Extinction event, I can also sort of maybe sometimes target to not hit my own creatures. Uh, what else have we got? That's about it. Yeah, again, not really much in the way of card draw, but um, plenty of LD. Hopefully getting it down quick and... Um, blowing up our opponent's stuff we don't have the discard main board unlike the rakdos version so sideboard's got four duress sideboard i just kind of slapped together real quick four duress for control four negate also for control or matchups where it's good two path of peril and an erebus's intervention uh two path of peril for more sweepers against aggro two agonath's rampage for like planeswalker heavy decks unmoored ego for a second copy and two erebus's intervention for graveyards so that is Grixis Ponda. Let's see if we can ramp into some LD. Oh, I only have three Memorial to War here. The mana base is crazy. Because, uh, like, we want to get to... We want to have double red on turn two so that we can play our Wily Goblin. But we also need, like, Nickel Bolas mana. So the mana base is crazy. It's not going to work out sometimes. There might be way too many tap lands. We'll see. The deck is as of yet untested, but let's try it out. And we're against Tornikin. We're on the play, that's good. Well, I don't think this is a keepable hand. We've got no LD, we've got no blue. It might be okay if we draw a blue source. I don't know. <laughs> it's not a good hand, that's for sure. But is this keepable? Like, in the dark? Yeah, okay. If we draw a blue source, Siphon Insight is actually good against most things, so... I guess we'll keep. Opponents. We're gonna play some magic. Alright, they multi five. That's good for us. Guess I'll lead on this tap land. Even though it doesn't allow a turn two siphon if I draw blue, which I do, of course. Okay. 
So, Esper again. Four color. Play this on blue. I'm kind of relying on Siphon Insight for removal, by the way. Oh, it's Spirits. Gotta think that's a bad matchup for us. Empyrean Eagle, Rattle Chains. I think I like Rattle Chains. I can ambush, ambush them, maybe. Bant Spirits, so Coco. All right, let's go for our first LD. Probably have a, a spell club. I can't catch this, right? No, they just have to eat. We do get off the LD. But they're without blue mana now. That's pretty good. So we can play Nickel Bolas and block. Oh, they missed their land drop. That's too bad. Let's blow up their green so they can't... Coco? They scoop. <laughs> okay. They kept the land light draw. Uh spirits. We could bring an unmoored ego and name collected company. I don't know what else we need really. Maybe Path Apparel. They have a lot of cheap guys. And a couple of negates. Uh What do we board out is the question. Maybe a big Nikki B. Again, we can't board out. We can't board out our uh, our LD pieces. That is for sure. Murderous Rider. Little LD, Little Nikki B. We don't have a lot in the way of win cons. Uh, it's mostly Nikki B. In fact, maybe I should leave the Nikki Bs in because they are like our only win con. All right. I'll go one path of peril. Siphon Insight actually doesn't seem that good against them. Because I don't think they play a lot of removal. They do play counter spells, though. Uh, we're on the draw. All right, we'll go down one Siphon Insight, one Wily Goblin. Okay, we've got... Electromancer into turn three, Seismic Shift. We also have Unmoored Ego. Malevolent Hermits.
Let's shock and get down Electromancer. Mausoleum Wanderer. Okay. We can make him sack one of their creatures. I think I'll attack. They let it through. So they're gonna have to give up something. They're gonna have to give up the Hermit if they want to counter this. Which I'm guessing they do, because they don't want to lose their collected companies. Alright, there goes the Hermit. Alright, so now I think we've got to wait. I didn't need to shock there. Another malevolent hermit, okay. Um, let's see. Let's attack. I'll trade with your hermit if you want. They don't. I think way too many tap lands. Way too many tap lands in our mana base. That's an issue. Okay, they go for the Geist. I think that guy is still mana value two, right? This is going to kill our dude, unfortunately. So, one, two, one, two, three. Alright, they can sack their Hermit and their Wanderer to counter this. Um, do I want to pay that, though? Uh, no, I don't want to pay that, because I want to leave up Negate for Coco.
Let's go for this LD. There's a Coco. Negate. Oh, they got the Geist. Oops. Forgot about that. Okay. And that means that we lose. So, yeah, the Geist. Gotta remember. So maybe we don't go negate at all. Just go all in on removal. Plus LD, of course, LD. Let's lose Murderous Rider. Let's lose... One big Nikki. Extinction, uh, Path of Peril, of course, kills my guys, which is annoying. Do -do -do. Um... We can cut. Shadow Skull Smashing seems good. Eh, let's just go up one intervention. All right. Well, on the play, this is much better than on the draw. Oh, they kept a one lander. Okay. Ah, oh, man, I should have played my memorial to war there. That was dumb. Okay. So I could make them sack their Mausoleum Wanderer now. Uh, nah, I think I'll wait. Okay. Do we start the LD? Or do we go for Unmoored Ego? I think we start the LD, right? Let's go with this on black. And begin the LD. Rattle Chains. Uh, that's fine. They sack their mausoleum wanderer. So now I can wipe their board. Let's name Goblin.
All right, let the LD continue. Rattle chains. Path of Peril Memorial to War. Let's get the Memorial to War going on. I could name islands with Unmoored Ego. That would be vicious. I, th I think that's unnecessary, though. What else could I name? They've already got one in their graveyard. It would probably be better to name Collected Comp- They're never going to get up to four mana. Ever. Mausoleum Wanderer, maybe? So, let's play that on... Blue. Um, let's go for Island. No, let's go for, like, Hallowed Fountain. Hallowed Fountain. Collected Company. Okay, they got a handful of spirits. Remove three lands from their library. Nice. <laughs> and they scoop. <laughs> there you go. I mean, they kept like a they kept like a two lander against us. They saw what our deck was doing, so and we're against somebody with Karuga as their companion. Only cards with mana value three or greater and land cards. Okay, so they got big stuff, which is great for us. All their cards are expensive. We'd like to see that. We do like to see lands as well. All right, let's wildfire. Give me a land, please. Not a land. Fable. Uh, of course we have to see that card, and we don't draw land either. It's very tempting to just scoop here. Because they don't really know what we're on as of yet. Fable. I'll go with a couple of negates. A couple of duress. Uh, lose one little Nikki. One murderous rider. We don't cut our LD. One Crippling Fear. Let's cut the Sweepers and just go with Spot Removal. Uh, a one lander. Well, this is keepable. What do I bottom? Unmoored Ego can name Fable, which is really nice. Do I bottom Siphon Insight? Siphon Insight also seems really good good against them. But I think the Electromancer is probably more important. Of course, it's just going to die.
Mm. I'm not even going to play it on turn two anyway. Yeah, I'm going to bottom the Electromancer, oddly enough. Let's wildfire the temple. Den of the bugbear. All right, let's name Fable here. Fires of Invention. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a rude deck they're playing. We're going to have a hard time beating this. There's some dirty, dirty cards. Divide by zero. Shock. One or greater to its owner hand. They just divide by zero. It's so bad. But what can you do? No, they just let it go. Interesting. Not sure why. Let's try that again. Divide by zero. Environmental sciences. They don't play environmental sciences. They discard the hand size instead. Duress is a nice draw. Fires, fires, fires. Divide by zero. Okay, I guess it's divide by zero then. Can I get more LD on the top, please? Yes. Plus a land to, to proc my memorials to war. Eventually, I'll need to kill this brazen borrower. Land Bolas, there we go. They draw their companion. Just go ahead and blow up their land. All right, let's Nikki B. Or 
right. Let's blow up your land. Let's attack for four. All right, I guess we should stop attacking. Let's siphon insight. What you got? Oh, two lands. You don't. You don't say. I'll take that temple. Uh, play wily goblin. Get a treasure. They scoop it up. We LD'd them right out of that game. Okay, so they're fires. We definitely want all the controly type stuff. They got all the cavaliers and whatnot. That's a problem. Actually, Angras Rampage might be better than some of those negates. Nah, we just got to keep them off the mana. Negate's better. I don't know what we named Unmoored Ego. Boarding is kind of difficult with this deck. Here we go. Three and three. Cut one goblin. This would be good if we had blue mana, but uh, red mana, but we don't. I don't think we can risk that. Okay, that's much better. We'll keep that and bottom one Electromancer. Electromancer. Alright, I don't want to go for LD here. I'll just play a tap land. Fires, I think not. All right, so let's blow up one of your dual lands. Cleansing wildfire duress. I want duress for sure. Do I want cleansing wildfire too? I can actually Cleansing Wildfire next turn into Duress. But I want to LD next turn. I want to Duress LD. Yeah, that's fine.
Fable the mirror breaker. Oh, I hate that card so much. Guess I'll take another fires. You know, maybe I should have taken divide by zero because their other cards are just useless with fires. I think I save this smashing to kill their tokens. Got a trade. Another cleansing wildfire. Okay. Let's do that again. Yeah, I don't know if we can I don't know if we can beat Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Just this just this treasure token. Target spell or permanent? No wonder this was banned. The card is so busted. Okay, so we can pay for Mystical Dispute. But they can just divide by zero. get their environmental sciences. We can play this again. We do have a memorial to war. Well, they've got a lot of basic lands. Like, all they need is one more uh, fable and we're toast. All right, let's blow up their red source. Well, 
They have a treasure, so they can still produce red mana. Cavalier. We draw three cards, so we lose. Because of Fable. It was the treasure token produced by Fable. They can copy it with Reflection to Cavalier of Flame. Okay. When it enters the battlefield, yeah, we just lose. They're going to get to draw like a handful more cards. They're going to hit us for 10. On the following turn, we can block it, but they're going to have a handful of cards. Divide by zero. Okay. Oh, they actually... Yeah, it just costs one colorless mana to activate. It doesn't cost red. Copy the Cavalier. Draw a million cards. So they can do it again to we're just I think we're just dead. Let's see what our draw is. Uh land. When the ETBs discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. See, I can divide by zero to bounce the re reflection. I guess bouncing the cavalier would be better. Because then they have to tap out to play it again. Or I guess I gotta divide by zero there, divide by zero. Mystical Dispute. Okay. GG's. Fable wins. Again. And we're against Heavy Card. Uh... This is a slow draw, but I guess I can keep it. Oh, they missed their land drop. That is very unfortunate for them. Okay, so I am going to bolt that into play. Oh, I should have played Wily Goblin. Because that guarantees me the turn 3 LD, even if they have a removal spell. Metallic Mimic. Naming Dwarf. Well. Dwarves. Tend to be red. So we'll blow up your red source. Another Electromancer. Okay. I'll play Wily Goblin.
They're mana screwed. In more ways than they realize. Murderous Rider. Um, I could just murder that Mimic. Probably should. Because I wouldn't want them to get down a dwarf that survives the Crippling Fear. Okay, they scoop. Well, that wasn't much of a game. Dwarves, eh? I don't know what we need, really. Ingrath's Rampage can kill the Mimic. Maybe one intervention for a little more removal. Cut a Siphon Insight. Eh, I'll just go up the one Angrass Rampage for a Siphon Insight. I'll keep. Alright, we got the LD Prime to go. Unfortunately, we have no acceleration for it. Electrostatic Infantry. Oh. The World Tree, you say? Fatal push is good. Um, let's see. I think I just play this tap land. Say go. Sees. Okay. They see triple LD on the way. Take Murderous Rider. Alright, let's go ahead and just push that thing. Wily Goblin. Let's play this on red. Start blowing up lands. I will accept Memorial to War. Continue blowing up lands.
blow up even more lands. Let's use the, the card they know about. Play with fire my face. Get a scry. Not a land. So let's blow up yet even another land. Are we going to get a flawless victory? Ah, uh, they, they dropped a land. That's too bad. Let's blow it up. Play this on blue. Let's go ahead and just siphon insight. We'll take Fatal Push, I guess. Any creatures they play are gonna be cheap by necessity. Alright. Memorial to War, we'll cover another land. And now we can start killing them with our lands. Ah, oh, is it a flawless victory? <laughs> they scoop it up. No permanence on the battlefield. Oh, man. You'd love to see it. That is the Ponza dream against Wasteland Angel. I mean, we were a part of their meta screw in game one. They had two lands and we blew up one. Uh, I just kind of kept this without really looking, but I guess it's fine. Niggets. All right, let's play this on black. Your black source. Welcoming vampire. That's annoying. We're gonna have to kill that, I think. Before they start drawing cards. Okay, they have no follow-up. So let's play this tap land. Uh, I guess we run out our our knight as a blocker. They have a removal spell. Yep. Wedding announcements. Alright, so we can Nikki B here. Which is pretty good, right? Destroy target creature or planeswalker. It does die if I do that though. I wish he started I wish that was a minus two ability. But I really have no choice, right? So I gotta play this on blue, I think. I guess it doesn't matter.
more wedding announcements. I might need like some feed the swarm or something for this deck. Alright, Nikki B number two. They have the answer. They draw two cards. Yeah, we're gonna lose this. This card is so dumb. Uh, do we even give away our LD plan? I don't think so. What can we siphon from you? Seraph of the Scales. Does that help? Uh, that kind of does help, actually. So they get the free 3-3 three, three plus ping. Okay, so now we're dead unless this finds us something really good. Soren? Or Adeline? Those are both really good. I want Adeline, right? No, I'm still just dead, though. They have enough creatures or it doesn't matter. Alrighty then. So we want sweepers, sweepers, removal, removal. We can cut a Nikki B. Maybe like Ashiok Nightmare Muse would be a better win con than this Nikki B. I don't know. I've always just found this Planeswalker underwhelming. Like, if you get it down on a completely naked board, it's really good. It's just not that good at protecting itself. I think I like Ashiok Nightmare Muse better. This Nikki B is much better, but it costs seven. It's very risky to try to flip it. Uh, Siphon Insight actually seemed great against them. We don't cut the LD. So I'll cut one goblin. What? Unmoored ego. Just a couple of goblins? Nah, I, I want the LD fast on the play. I think I can get him with the LD. So we'll cut a Crippling Fear and a Murderous Rider, I think. Have the cheaper, the cheaper interaction. And the interventions which can gain us life. Uh, this is just way too slow. Hmm. This also isn't great, but I guess I'm keeping. And bottom. Bolas. Bolas, hope to get a red source so I can start blowing up lands.
Dread Horde Invasion. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, we're gonna have to shock. Wedding announcement. That's a card. Okay, so they're going to draw a card. I can't stop that, so let's just blow up a land. No block. Kamal is gonna kill us. So I think we gotta kill it. We're gonna take four damage from this. I could still Path of Peril, but I think I wanna wait till they get their last token. Yeah, our, our awkward mana base did us in this time. Edgar. And Edgar we can't really do anything about. So, yeah, I think they got us. So we're going to take... We're on two-turn clock. We missed our land drop, too. I think if we had- if we had gotten to LD on turn 3, we would have been good. And we're done. Ah well, I like the ending of the last game better, but, you know. You take the good with the bad. Uh, we can cleansing wildfire. We don't have blue, but we'll draw it. We're against Bando Bando Yewraus. Oh, it's some kind of sack deck. Just like Cat Oven Mayhem Devil. Yep. Another Electromancer. <laughs> well, we're not good at drawing blue mana so far. Sack another creature, Scry One. So I gotta save this for a Mayhem Devil. Or do I just hit Woe Strider? I don't know. Hits pretty hard.
Well. Sacking their stuff to the hostile hostile. Again, not drawing blue mana. Okay, there's a blue source. Angrath. That's pretty bad, because he can just snag all of our creatures. I have one, one murderous rider left that I could use to snag him. That's it. Like if I play an Electromancer here, he just takes it, hits me with it and it dies. So, I guess I just name, like, Cauldron Familiar here. And I'm praying for my second Murderous Rider, Immersturm Predator, Carry Zeb's Expertise. Oh, they're all about take your stuff and sack it. Huh? They don't even have Mayhem Devil? Immersturm Predator. Wow, that's crazy. So they're they're Immistern Predator. No fire, no steel. So, how long am I going to go before I scoop? Uh, I can kill this. And now if I draw Nico Bolas, I can cast it. So I've got three draws. All non-antelopes get minus three, minus three. No fire, no steel. Lock lane. And now, even if I draw the Bolas, I still have to deal with the Woe Strider too. That is not happening. So we want duress. We want negate. We want Angrath's rampage. We want Erebos's intervention. To crippling fear is actually good. So is extinction event. We don't port out. Our LD. Never board out the LD.
Ah, oh, on the play we want to accelerate though. Uh, gotta cut something. Unmoored ego. Now that's good for naming Cauldron familiar. You can cut one wily goblin. I'll just go one in one of these. Do we board out one seismic shift? One cleansing wildfire? Never. Never. Um, we'll board out a land before we do that. Let's board out, what, Castle Vantress? Sure. Mm, that's a one lander. Okay, we can work with this. Deep. And bottom. Either the Electromancer or the Wily Goblin. Probably the Electromancer, actually, because the Wily Goblin for sure gets me the token. Of course, it means I have to play my pathway on red. Oven. Okay, I think we can dress. Oh, they have the cat. So we probably just take Liliana. Lay that on red, right? Yes. I can destroy the oven. Oh no, they can choose to sack a food though. This is a sorcery. I can demolish the oven though. Oh, okay. Well, because of how they sequenced it, I actually can destroy the oven. Gabriel. Uh, I guess I'll discard Demolish. So they're a discard deck. Discard Cat Oven. Ingrath. Sack your stuff. I don't even know. Let's tidy up in there. This is my home, and I don't appreciate it. Alright. Yep. 
we can scoop now. They got us. Oh well. We tried. I never claimed the deck was good. In fact, I claimed, uh, I promised both of these decks were bad. But we did get some good wins. I think maybe they could be improved. Like, the mana base of that, uh, Grixis version could be improved. It has too many tap lands as is. But anyway, I had a lot of fun playing these Ponza decks. I hope you enjoyed it as well. They are fun decks to play. Blowing up people's lands is one of the most satisfying things you can do in Magic, in my opinion. And uh, these decks do it a lot, and people don't expect it. And when it works, it works quite well, which is not very often, of course. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this session of Magic the Gathering Explorer. Next time I play, I'll probably try uh, run one of my more try-hard decks. But I uh, was happy to bring some jank for the evening. So, YouTube, if you enjoy this kind of janky, off-kilter, off-meta content, please do like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. And I thank you for watching the video. Hope you have a good rest of your day.